when I first got the helicopter in the mail and I had opened up the packaging, my first thought was, wow, this uh, box that it came in seems pretty excessive. Um, it did take up quite a bit of my recycling box even after breaking it down, so I wish the packaging were smaller for it. Compared to a single blade microcopter, the blades were quite a bit smaller. The body, on the other hand, was nice. It felt fairly well constructed and it was pretty neat to see all the internals covered up by it. I was also impressed that it came with the USB charging cable, so I wouldn't have to use the batteries in the remote to charge it. Uh, my friends have some copters with the uh, remote to charge it, and it seems to drain their batteries fairly quick. I bought some cheap uh, dollar store batteries, and after two weeks of flying it, the batteries still seem to be going great. As for its flying characteristics, it's a very stable helicopter. It hovers in place very well. Out of the package, it spins a little bit, but has a trim control. When turning the remote and the helicopter on after they've been off, um, I do have to adjust the forward and back trim each time. I always have to set the trim um, to go further back because the helicopter always wants to fly forward. After flying the helicopter for a week, I noticed some pretty significant performance issues with it. There are no problems with the blades, but the battery seemed to be losing its uh, charge. It can only hover for, you know, four or five feet off the ground for like maybe three minutes, whereas before, when brand new, it could hover for, let's say, about six minutes. As a workaround for the weak battery issue, I took the body off and saw some pretty significant differences right away. The helicopter was quieter, climbed much quicker, and now the battery lasts around eight to nine minutes when hovering four to five feet off the ground. So here's how the helicopter sounds when the body's on it. And here's how the helicopter sounds when the body's off. If you want to make this helicopter go much faster, than the other micro helicopters that have the pusher propeller in the back. Set the trim all the way to forward and then push the joystick forward also. The room in our office is probably about 25 feet long and with this little amount of space I could never really get the helicopter to go as fast as it could because it always run into the walls. This helicopter was definitely worth the $20 I paid for it. I do recommend buying an extra battery with this helicopter because the stock one does not last very long.